Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, we're going to be taking a look at the demo for a game called Ravenous Devils. Uh, and this kind of caught my eye on Steam, actually. It's one of these management games with a twist. So, Ravenous Devils is a horror cooking simulator with a dark twist. Think of it as a blend of cul cul yeah, culinary arts and sinister mischief. The game is about managing a tailor shop and a pub, but with a creepy twist. You kill customers and use their remains for ingredients. Definitely not your typical restaurant management game. It's more about balancing the grotesque with the mundane. Like making sure you have enough uh, supplies whilst keeping your customers happy. Both macabre and oddly satisfying if you have a taste for the morbid. And, dear viewer, that I do. Do. If we go to the store page, it's actually extremely positive. So, let's have a go, shall we? I do like these simulation games every now and again, and this one just caught my eye. The following story is purely fictional, and the plot is not associated with actual historical events. Yeah, no nothing to do with Sweeney Todd or anything like that. We promise. Hand pick game. Oh, hound pick games. All right. Press any button to continue. Let's see what settings we have here. Uh, full screen. Good. Yes, we like full screen. Sure. Uh, wait. Can we not like select resolution or anything? All right. Well, whatever. Sound. Fine, I guess. Very threadbare when it comes to. Oh, you can play with a controller. Interesting. All right, well, whatever. Um, so, let's play. Day zero, I guess. I barely slept while we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife, Hildred, and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large, cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. <laughs> you may wonder what the secret that. behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. We've decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties as a result of the insanely high meat prices. Due to sheer hunger, or simply because it tastes so delicious, human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up, and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right and earn as much money as we can. Oh, I like this. This is, I like it. It's not taking itself so seriously. We're running out of meat fast. Uh, the people in this town are like hungry dogs. At least this means that moving here was the right choice. We'll get rich. Not too fast, darling. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You know all too well how much we're risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down to the kitchen. I'll take care of it. All right, let's grab this poor wretch. Sooner or later, I'm going to end up breaking my back. All right, so I guess we click on him. I need to throw the corpse through the trap door. It'll be in the kitchen in no time. 
Okay, so the animation work is pretty good. All right, let's chuck the stiff down. There we go. All that meat for free. Oof. Finally, fresh meat. The trapdoor is working brilliantly. It's time to stock up on some mincemeat. The new meat grinder is great for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. Okay. <laughs> now it's time to grind. All right. Let's go chuck this corpse into the grinder. Ah, oh, see, underwear and all. <laughs> yeah, you probably should clean it from time to time. Look at all that meat. I should take a look at my grandma's recipe book. I'll also be able to add all my future recipes to it. Okay, so I guess is that wheat meat equals pie? All right. Well, I need flour and mince meat to make a delicious meat pie. I can already smell it cooking. Let's take one of the ingredients. Oh, so, okay, so we've got like two of ten meat. Let's grab some meat. Chuck it on the table. There we go. A bit of flour as well. Lovely. Stick you there. Beautiful. All set for cooking. Let me take the tray. Put it in the oven. It will be ready soon. Okay. By making some changes, I could cook faster. Or we could fix these other two ovens, though we'd need more money for that. We'll work that out later. The meat pies are looking golden brown. Time to take them out. Okay. So how many pies does that make? Uh, the display stand is empty, so I'll place these meat pies on there. This way, customers will be able to serve themselves. Oh, okay. Customers serve themselves. We like that. That's efficient. Mm -mm -mm. I do like a good pie. All right. Well, I'm British. Of course I do. All right. We're set up. I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean that mess up on the floor. Take a look. So using the mouse wheel scrolls up and down. That's cool. It's a bloodbath. I have to clean this up. No one can come up here until there's no blood left on the floor. Right, so mop. Beautiful. Spick and span. I stole some clothes earlier. The display mannequin in the uh, exposition isn't dressed. I could patch up some of the stolen clothes and resell them. At a steep price, of course. Waste not, want not. This may be a humble shop, but I'm a professional. All right. And might as well get these rags sorted. Ah. Now it's time to give this new sewing machine a whirl. Ah, it looks like a singer. There we go. It's not going very fast, but I can wait. Automatic sewing machine. We like it. I need to get a sewing machine. Coordination and cooperation are the core of our business. I should adjust the timing of my work according to Hildred's needs. The clothes are finally ready. Yeah, so this game's going to be a balancing act then. It prob it's probably going to certainly take some getting used to, that's for sure. Let's put them on the mannequin. So I'm guessing this is the shop and the pub is downstairs. Everything seems to be set ready. Now we can welcome our customers. Open. Oh, right. So that's to open the shop. Thing is, have we not got another mannequin there? All right. Well, let's open. We have ten pounds. My dear customers, please come inside. Take what you desire. Oh, this place is a dump, though. We need to clean this up. It's lucky that I filled the display stand. Otherwise, they would have been waiting whilst I was cooking. Ah, look at that. The sound of money. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free, after all. I'll mark them differently from one another in the recipe book. They will pay a lot for my delicious meals. Oh, it seems like somebody is looking for a new outfit. You never know if your work and style will be appreciated by people. Always keep in mind, do the best job you can. We don't want bad reviews getting out. 
All right. Hello, my dear. Excellent. I have an appointment pretty soon. I need to take a client's measurements. Wait for the client to arrive. Come on, buddy. We need more meat, though. Yeah, right, they're chief. Ah, so he comes back here into the tailor's room. I see. Now we're alone, and I can provide Hildred with some more meat. Oh. Okay. I'll take these clothes. <laughs> you won't be needing them anymore. Let's throw the corpse down the kitchen. Whoa. All right, I actually thought he was going to be some sort of special order. That's fine. I guess we don't make clothes here. We just repair the old ones. Oh, got another stiff going down. Let's get this blood sorted. Down you go, old boy. More clients are coming. We must be ready. I always have to remind myself to clean up. I'm confident that Hildred is doing a great job. Coordination is key. Yep, right, you sort that out. Where's Hildred? Oh, she's still there. Right, Hildred, sort the corpse out. That's now clean. Let's get some clothes ready. Right, grind that corpse up, my dear. So that's the objective. Clients killed. Yeah, you say you should clean this from time to time, but is that something that we can do? I'm not entirely sure. Right, let's, let's bake some more pies. There we go. Put you in there. And then... Oh, need a tray. Yep, there you go. Tray in the oven. Excellent. Hello, friend. Ah, oh, nice to see you. Sorry to do this to you, sir, but had to be done, you understand? Oh, shit. Um, shit, shit, shit. There we go. Okay. We need a garment to sell. How's the pie doing? The pie's doing great. And then we can sell that. There we go. Right, you need to stick that on the... Yep, yep, grab... Chuck. Oh, I guess when that goes out. Are you not taking it? Right, you've got the clothes now. Brilliant. Okay. Now, before, we need to get this cleaned up as quick as we can. Clothes sold. Pies are doing well. Alright. I don't know if we need to actually stay there to sell or, look, go move that. You've got some of cloth. Go make some more. Nice. Okay. Right. Grind the meat. Oh, we have infinite flour. That's good to know. Now, do we have to be there to serve? I wonder. Oh, hello. You chose a bad day. To come looking. Oof. Right in the face and the neck. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Right. Um... I don't... Yeah, okay, so she doesn't have to be up there. Right, let's grab some meat. And some flour. Right, you, chuck the corpse down. This is going to be a difficult... Oh, she's not happy. She is not happy. She is actually fuming. Right, go get the clothes. Right, he's waiting for the pies. Get the flour. Oh my god, you have to micromanage the shit out of this, don't you? Yeah, you've got it. You've got it. There you go. Put that in there. All right. I don't know. Ah, this could be bad. Right, chuck you out there. I like this color. And now you need to wash. Uh, right, I'm still waiting on the pies. I guess what we could do whilst we're waiting. Oh, right, there's no tray. Okay. Possibly need some more trays. Get the pies. And take them upstairs. There we go. Perfect. Now, we need to get some more on there. Right. Excellent. Hello, friend. Yes, you've come to be in a pie, I see. Excellent. Excellent choice. There's blood everywhere. I'm wondering if we can get some help at some point. Let's throw the corpse down. I also have no idea if, right, you love, 
can start producing another pie. I might need to start grinding this meat soon as well. Get that cl cleaned up. There's blood everywhere. I know there's blood everywhere. We're dealing with it. We've got... Okay, we've got 33 pounds. I'm not sure if that is enough. Right, you're done. Right, start producing another batch. We also need to do something about these bodies. We've still got a couple of pies there to sell. <clears throat> All right. Yep, we do need a corpse to throw, but before we do that, let's get some more clothes ready. Oh, hello. Starting over is never easy. There's a lot of improvements that need to be made. Uh, I wrote this list of things that we need to do to improve the business. This way, we will serve many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. Okay. Mince meat. Shred and grind. Unlock. Oh, right. That's what we've already got. I see. Not available in the demo. Workbench. Unlock an additional workbench. Unlock an additional oven. And I need... Okay. Ovens cook meals faster. Good. Tailor lab. Sewing machine speed. Mannequins. Ah, add new mannequins. Yeah, because I think that's the problem. Um, we need to... We need things to just move a lot quicker so we can put more stock out on the shelves. Stolen clothes. Percival gets an additional piece of cloth. That's quite useful. Uh, new mannequin. In the pub. M ah, self-service. Tables. Set up a new table in the pub. In the greenhouse. Males. There aren't any males to read yet. And skins. Humble tailor. Ooh. <gasps> the collector. I like it. Spike. <laughs> we can be a skeleton. That's great. Gourmet chef. Oh, I like the bloody landlady. That looks really cool. Doled up. The undead bride. I do like that. Oh, okay. So you can buy these. Report. So this is our reputation. Bad orders. Ooh, that's not good. Good orders. Mixed orders. So I don't know if the bad rep um, bad reputation actually knocks your reputation down. Or what? I'm not sure. Or whether it just doesn't improve it. No idea. So what we actually want... Uh, we could probably... We're limited, really, with what we can do here. Temperature is getting hot. An additional oven. I think we could... Cook faster. Or just have a, an additional oven, maybe. Let's... Oh, we can't afford that anyway. Let's go for oven speed, just for shits and gigs. Do that. What can we get for £18? nothing by the look of things all right fine fine uh let's take those pies upstairs and then we can start working on that now you can get some more clothes going i need a p yeah that's why i told you to pick up the fabric so you've got to wait for him to actually have the fabric in his hand got you i do like the blood splatter the presentation for this game is actually very good right she's there go take that upstairs Oh, right. Open shops. I guess we've done an entire day. So, I wonder... Could we, like, pre-stock? So, we'll stick that out on there. And we'll get that on the sewing machine ready to go. Let's grind up these bodies as well. Get these stiffs sorted. So at least you do get a reprieve. I see there's people walking by. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, the day is actually ticking by until we open the shop. So everything is stocked. Now, is there any danger of getting cops appearing? Do we have to, like, if this is bloody back here, like, what, what, what's the downside to that? 
Oh, right, let's... As fast as I can. Come on. Speed it up. Right, so let's set this up so it's ready to go. Let's get some flour. On there. Let's get... Oh! Is that double flour? We don't want double flour. Some meat. And then... Actually, let's have a look at recipes. So... Oh, we can cook. Right, so we can make pies, or we can make, I guess, steak? But obviously the pies uh, are worth more money. But if we have an overabundance of meat, I guess, we can sell that. Right, so you're sorted. That's all sorted. We have another piece of clothing ready to go. Right, open the shops. And let's do another day. I like this. This is fun. It's certainly going to take some management. And I like the fact that we can upgrade things. This pleases me. People will like the display is full. Yeah, unfortunately. So we. this is self-serve, isn't it? We don't have to be here to collect money. <clears throat> that is correct, right? Yes, correct. Excellent. Okay, so she can just wait there for now then. It's a shame we can't set up another plate of stuff ready to go, but then I guess that's why you can upgrade. We've got 20 pounds. Oh, hello. Unfortunate bit of business, my dear, but you know how it is around these parts. Right, get to work on that corpse. I don't know if I'm, I need to clean as quickly as I do. Or should I be putting, let's, there we go. Right, take that. Right, you go refill that. You take that and put it on the mannequin. Then we're going to come back and clean the blood. Oh, that does look good, actually. Yeah, you're not wrong. Right, now whilst that's happening, get some more. Get some more. Whilst you've got to walk past that, we'll put you there. We'll grab you. As fast as I can. It looks like the pie shop is where the majority of the money actually comes in. Right, you've got that. You put that there. Um, and you grab that and get another tray going. Right, so that's the actual day moving by. Okay, let's get some more pies ready. Looks like we've got another lady. Is she coming in? For for her, her neck examination? Or is she just buying? She's just buying. That's fine. Let's go sort you out. Love, if you would be so kind. Let's get the pies up. Hello there, my friend. Let me have a look at your neck, please. Lovely. Right, now she can come straight back down. Right, you There's need to get to work. Everywhere. There is blood everywhere, my friend. But not for much longer, because you seem to be a dab hand at the old mop. We could get some self-cleaning. There we go, come on, come on. If only you'd be a little bit quicker. Come on, there we go. Right, that's nice. So, come on. Yeah, a little bit more automation would make this a little bit easier. As fast as I can. Yep, come on. Tick tock, tick tock. In the oven. Get it in there. People are hungry for man meat. I can understand. Man flesh. Get that on. We've made a decent amount of money, actually. Come on, if we could just get another round of pies up there. <clears throat> yep, you've got some meals. There we go. Come on, get those up. Yes, they will. Get those up. Get those up. We can sell a few more before the day's out. And we can also get some more meat before the day's out. Lovely. There you go, people. Help yourselves. Plenty of pies. Look at all those happy customers. Now, unfortunately, we are closed for the day. But that's all right. We can hopefully get some more mannequins and things sorted for tomorrow. We have unlocked a decent amount of more money. Right, you sort that out. Okay, the shop is now shut. Last clients. Okay, so not quite shut then. Let's get the mannequin sorted. 
We are bottlenecked by the amount of people we can murder, unfortunately. Alright, you need to start grinding the corpses. Doesn't look like the meat runs out. We probably could have done another round of pies, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, unfortunately, love, last orders. There's nothing. Alright, let's get some more cloth. So this is going to be the harder resource to get by the look of things. Let's start getting some pies together. Be nice if we don't miss out on her, but I think we will. Because she is losing her patient quick. Oh, don't know. We might just get there. Maybe. Come on, baby. Come on. Perfect. Get that upstairs and feed this woman. As fast as I yep. Do it quickly. Feed this woman as fast as you can. There you go, love. Anyone else going to walk in? Any last orders? Beautiful. Ah, oh, I saw that git walk past. All right. So I'm guessing these pies are going to carry over to the next day. I don't really know how it works. All right, you, my dear, need to get grinding. Better check today's earnings. I have all of our clients. This way, word will spread and our shop's reputation will improve. That alone is not enough, though. We should probably buy some new work tools. Uh, I'm sure even well-known people will visit our shop then. Ah, so we didn't actually get any... Right, so I'm guessing the reputation only goes down in that case if somebody walks out unhappy. We made £30. Let's have a little look at the upgrades. Uh, I think, to be honest, it's going to be a mannequin. Um, that's probably a good idea. Maybe another display stand as well. Because we can produce the pies quick enough. To keep two display stands up, I reckon. Uh, the Taylor Lab... The Taylor Lab is okay. But... Oh, may, that might be nice, actually, to have extra clothes. I think we're going to get another display. Like so. And we could do that so we can get more... Alright, that leaves us with £3.08. Right, get grinding, love. Uh, you. Yeah. And then we will... So how much meat do you get out of one person? You only get two meat out of one person. That's not a lot, is it? When you think about it. Come on, love. In you go. Beautiful. Okay, we can click on these to instantly drag us to where we need to be as well. That's quite nice. All right, let's fully load the stands. This should as fast as I can. give us a bit of a leg up. Right, yep. I do wish we could just click on the oven and then she would automatically Me? take, but I suppose I can understand why they don't do that. Yep. Put the, oh, right, yeah. Um, how do we put that back? Oh, cool. So we can. It's a shame, really, he can't help downstairs when he doesn't have as much to do. Like, he could shovel pies upstairs, for instance. I do like the fact she doesn't have to be here. Wait a minute. So that's not quite full. Okay. Fine. Let's go back downstairs. Prepare another tray. We'll do one more day. And we'll, we'll call it there, I think. Yeah, I think I might actually end up buying this game, to be honest. Okay, so now that's in the oven. We should... Right, you all ready? Got something on the mannequin? Something else to go? Open the shop. Let's do it. A letter just arrived. Oh. We moved here not long ago. No one should know us. Uh oh. have sent this. Did you tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Silence. Let me read, woman. God. 
Someone knows our secret. Oh, that's the end of the demo. Oh, okay. Fair play. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I quite enjoy this. This could be a fun little game to play at work, to be honest, on my break. Because the days are relatively short. Hmm, a dark main storyline and secondary quests. New tools, the greenhouse, character skins and achievements. Delicious new recipes to cook. All right, I was actually pleasantly surprised by that. I don't know how much this game actually is. Let's have a look. I mean, I can add it to the wish list. Can we actually just bring up Steam? There we go. This game is $3.99. Wait, what? You're kidding. You're actually kidding. This game is $3.99. Very positive as well. That, like, even if this game was like £15, I would be uh, all right with that. All right, guys. Well, I mean, that's about as glowing um, impression as I can give it, to be honest. Three ninety nine. Good Lord. Is, I guess there's no DLC or anything, which maybe is a bit of a missed opportunity. What else have these guys made? Bad Vice Games. Have they made anything else? Oh, I guess they have. Sexual Void. Oh, dear. Ravenous Devils. I guess that was probably... Their biggest release. Oh, that's their last game. While we wait here. Oh, that's the planned release date. All right, I'm not really sure what this game is. Run a small diner located near a mountain range, taking orders for your customers. Cook them good food and serve them refreshments. Wait. The equilibrium of an ordinary working day is shattered when news of an impending Catastrophe is broadcasted. Now looming over the characters uh, is the catastrophic threat of the end of the world. At the diner, some of your customers seem to ignore it. Blinded by their own problems, they, pay the whole, they play the whole thing down and even refuse to believe it. Others welcome it as punishment for what they have done in their life. As you wait inside the diner, listen to their stories and offer them food for thought. Will you convince your Customers to run for shelter? Or will they stay at the diner, waiting for the end? What? This company makes games that are... different. I guess. That's one thing you could say about it. How much? Oh, I guess it doesn't have a... a price. I'm curious to how... how much their games are. Are they all cheap? Three ninety nine, Free, right, yeah. Oh, there's a demo of it. Maybe we'll do that next week. Wait, what? Sexual Void. This game is marked as adults only. Sexual Void includes full news. Jerk off. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Duh. I, that's, that's definitely not for me then. All right. Looks like some kind of uh, weebo jerk off game. For all the weebs out there, I suppose. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I actually quite enjoyed, uh, enjoyed. I can't talk. I obviously need more caffeine. I enjoyed that Ravenous Devils. Very good. Would recommend.